Hello, welcome to 5 Minute Road Trips. In today's mini adventure, I'm heading down into Gloucestershire's Golden Valley in search of the once extinct large blue butterfly. Stretching from Stroud to Sapperton, the Golden Valley is a wildlife rich gem that has been shaped by the River Froome. And it's also one of the best places in the world to see large blue butterflies. There's two main reasons why the large blue butterflies went extinct in the UK. The first was a loss of habitat, but this was in combination with a lack of grazing. At the start of the 20th century, a new grazing regime was implemented here in the UK, but the knock-on effects weren't initially noticed because there used to be a huge number of rabbits. But once myxomatosis rocked up in the 1950s, the average grass height rose by about five centimetres. And as a result, the grass became too cool and too shaded for the large blue butterfly's red ant host. And as a result, the large blue butterfly couldn't fulfill its life cycle. But we'll go into more detail about that in a bit. But the good news is, is that in this neck of the woods, the large blue butterfly is starting to make a comeback. In the early 2000s, Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust and the Royal Entomological Society reintroduced a population to Daneway Banks in the Golden Valley. And since then, the population has grown and grown and grown. And as of 2019, Daneway Banks had the largest known population of large blue butterflies in the world. Right. Let's go take a look. Billy, mate, we've only got five minutes, so you just might want to speed things up a bit. And I'm not making this up. As soon as I walked through the gate, I saw a flash of blue and well, here it is. Right behind me on the marjoram is a large blue butterfly. These little butterflies are typically on the wing from the middle of June until the middle of July, but this can vary with seasonal fluctuations. And I'm hoping that the GoPro is picking this up. That was really special. With one large blue already in the bag, it was time to see what else Daneway Banks had to offer. I absolutely love this place. A, it's beautiful, and B, it's just hooching with wildlife. The ground is just full of noise. You know, grasshoppers and crickets, there's bees flying about, and there'd be goshawks in some of these woods. You can hear the buzzards calling, and at night, you know, this will be covered up with grazing road here, and I'm sure there's a badger about as well. But we're not here to spot road deer and badgers, so let's get back to the butterflies and my top tips. There's a couple of things to bear in mind and to look out for when out spotting large blue butterflies. And the first is, they're not actually that big, but they are bigger than other blue butterfly species that we have here in the UK. On their upper wing, you wanna look for a little pattern of black spots that look a little bit like paw prints and on their underwings, they have a series of black spots with white rings around them. And they also lack any orange coloration that some other blue butterfly species have at this time of year. This plant in front of me here is marjoram. And this is one of two larval food plants of the large blue butterfly, the other being wild thyme. And during the breeding season, a female large blue will come and lay her eggs deep within the buds. Once the caterpillars hatch, they'll then stay here for about three weeks, feeding on the developing seed heads. Now this is where it all gets a little bit weird because the caterpillars then purposely flick themselves off the plant and onto the ground so that they can be found by foraging red ants. The caterpillars then trick the ants into thinking that they're ant grubs. The ants then pick the caterpillars up and take them back to their colonies where the large blue butterfly caterpillars gorge themselves on ant broods until they pupate and become adult butterflies the following year. Right, time to fill the car up. Ooh, I could get some snacks. And get ready for the next mini adventure. A big thank you to all of the wonderful people and organisations that have been involved in this first episode. In particular, Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust and the Royal Entomological Society for all of their amazing work to bring the large blues back to the Golden Valley. Next time on 5 Minute Road Trips.